Whoa, are we elementals? Yeah, check it out. I'm the element of earth. The best one here. No, I'm the best. I'm the element of water. And, whoa, okay, no need to argue, guys, because I'm clearly the best one here. I'm the element of fire. No way, fire is so weak. And what? I can literally shoot fireballs and you're like the element of dirt. Well, I'm gonna build the coolest earth castle ever. Well, I'm gonna build the coolest water castle ever. Okay, well, I'm gonna build the coolest fire city ever. So here, uh, the, the, what does a fire city? City need to look like uh, i don't know bad and stinky and what no it's gonna look so much cooler than a, the water city but here i guess the first thing i should probably do is build my platform for my city so here let me just select this position over here with my wand and now let me also go all the way over here to this position and let me select this position over here and here i'm just gonna set all of the floor into some netherrack boom there we go that is looking good and here let me get rid of this little hut over here we don't need this because i'm gonna build something much better than this and boom there we go my platform's done now time to start building this epic prismarine castle and ooh, all right well while you're building your castle kim i'm gonna start working on my fire city so here up let me grab some nether bricks let's put down the little layout for it right over here on the ground uh this should be about big enough yeah there's just gonna be the first tower out of many so now what i can do is select this position and this position over here and let me just run the command slash slash stack uh 50 yeah there we go that is looking nice what that tower is so tall people are gonna get tired of walking up there and oh wait you think people are gonna be walking up oh don't even worry about it i'm gonna have like uh lava elevators and stuff yeah people aren't even gonna have to walk in my tower lava elevators that sounds dangerous and unhealthy what no it's gonna be awesome since everyone here is gonna be a fire elemental they're gonna be able to swim through the lava really fast and that's how they're gonna be able to go between floors but anyways uh, speaking about the floors i need to actually start building the floors so here let me put down the door right over there and uh i guess this can be like the hotel tower well what if you know like your residents aren't all fire elementals what if like they're lava elementals and what that's even better lava elementals are going to be able to easily go through the elevator yeah but what about the fire elementals wouldn't it be too hot for them and no 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 camp don't you know all fire and uh, the lava elementals have fire resistance but anyways here i've got the front desk complete um now i guess i have to build that lava elevator so let me grab some of this lava let's just have a little tube going all the way up to the top of the tower all the way up over here and whoa okay this thing is pretty tall and here we can just put our lava bucket right over there and now we just have to wait for it to flow all the way down to the bottom and this is what people are gonna have to use to like go between floors they're gonna have to swim up through the lava and then they can go on to the next floor so uh here i guess um on each floor we can have two hotel rooms Wait, you're making a hotel and yeah i'm building like a whole city so i need to have all the, the buildings you know i need to have a hotel i need to have a hospital i need to have uh, a park all that sort of stuff well i guess that is pretty important but what are you gonna do when they want to take a bath and oh well good question of course i'm gonna have some lava showers of course lava showers that sounds unhealthy as well Ugh, that sounds gross and yeah yeah you guys are just saying that because you're not lava or fire elementals but you know for the people who actually come to stay at this hotel since they're gonna be lava and fire elementals it's gonna be awesome but anyways now i gotta actually like build each hotel room so here i guess i can grab some orange and yellow beds for you know lava and fire and we'll just have one bed in each room so we can just have one in each room just like that and uh Hmm, wait, these rooms are kind of small. Where should I put the shower? Uh, I don't know, probably in the bathroom somewhere. And, okay, well, the problem is I don't really have a bathroom. It's kind of just, like, one big room. But what I could do is just have it, like, be over here off to the side of the room. I could have a dispenser up there and a lever. And then inside of that, I could put a bucket of lava and, uh... Ooh, let me also grab some pressure plates. And I can just put these pressure plates around here like that so that the lava doesn't spill out. And... Oh, oh, okay, wait, hold on. Is this gonna work? And, oh, no, wait, it's spilling, it's spilling. This isn't gonna work. Okay, hold on. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, hold on, I need to get rid of this lava over here. Hold on, I think what I need to do is just move this dispenser one block up like that there we go and then let me grab another lava bucket and let's just put that right in the dispenser all right and this time let's put the lever over here so that the lava doesn't break it and then let's put some redstone right above it like that and okay this should work hopefully and okay okay this is looking pretty promising and because of the pressure plates the lava shouldn't spill out and yes i think it's working let's go my lava showers are complete all right well while you're working on your showers i'm setting up my ice army ice army and wait wait hold on i want to see what this looks like hold on let me grab some glass i can Add windows to my hotel rooms let me just put them all over here and whoa what the uh, okay you've actually got a lot of progress so far uh, yeah but this is just the start we're gonna have a full fortress oh my gosh that is crazy and wait hold on ruby what are you up to and wait what what is this it's the entrance duh the earth kingdom is going
going to be so, so big. And, whoa, wait, that's just the entrance. Okay, that is actually pretty big, but and no problem. You know, my, my uh, city is going to be much better here. Let me just build another one of the showers over here on this hotel room. Let me just copy the exact same thing from the other side. Well, if you think you can match up to mine, then good luck. And uh oh, don't even worry about it. I'm going to do more than catch up to you. My city is going to be much bigger than uh, your small kingdom. Kingdoms are way smaller than cities. What? That's not true. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, cities are so much bigger than kingdoms. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, yes, they are. Kingdoms are just like a, a castle with like a bunch of village houses. Cities are literally uh, like a bunch of towers and like uh, hospitals and parks and like a bunch of different structures. Uh, what? No, uh, kingdoms are like full of land. It's like multiple different cities. I don't know about that. All I'm going to say is my fire city is going to be much bigger than the Earth Kingdom. But here, all I need to do now for this tower is just select all of this over here. What I'm going to do is select this room. So let me just go in uh, this corner over here of the room. And then let me just look up and run the command slash slash stack uh, five. And boom, there we go. Instantly, my tower is complete. And hold on, I need to test this out. I want to see if all the rooms lined up correctly. And oh gosh, wait, uh, the lava is spilling over here. Hold on, I need to do something about this. What I need to do is put down some more pressure plates over here so that it doesn't spill. And yeah, okay, this looks pretty good. And all right, now let's see. The first floor over here is looking pretty nice. Let's see, did the second floor work? And yes, the second floor is over here. Perfect. All right, all my floors are complete. Are you just going to build one tower? And what? No, 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 no. I'm not just building one tower. I'm building a lot more than one tower. I'm going to have a whole city, like I said earlier. But anyways, now that my first tower is done, I got to build the next building. So here, I guess let me just uh, finish off this tower. Let me set the roof to some nether bricks. Boom. There we go. And all right, now on to the next tower. What should I build next? Uh, is your city going to have any cops, bro? And wait, cops? Uh, no, my city's not going to have any cops because, you know, they, they, they ruin all the fun. What do you mean they ruin all the fun? What? Your city's gonna be so uncivilized. And, oh, what? Dude, who needs a civilized city when you can have a fun city? Yeah, that's right. But anyways, uh, the, what I need to do now is uh, build a restaurant. Yeah, because people in the city are gonna need a place to get food. So here, I guess I should probably build the restaurant out of something else. So what about these red nether bricks? Yeah, these look awesome. All right, let me just set the walls to the restaurant out of some red nether bricks. So let me do slash slash walls, red underscore nether brick. Boom, there we go. And here, let's have the walls go all the way up over here. All right. Let's extend it over here as well. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Here, let's also set the roof to some red nether bricks. There we go. And all right, now it's time to actually build the interior of the restaurant. So, all right, uh, first up, this restaurant needs a name. So what should we call it? What about La Flame? <gasps> Wait, La Flame? Okay, that actually sounds really fancy. I'm not going to lie. What are you going to have there? And a uh, uh, good question. I'm going to have fireballs. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else can we have? Ooh, I'm going to have some lava cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be great. I'm sure the customers are going to love this. Oh, what about some ice cold drinks? And uh, what, ice cold drinks. No, we are not having any ice cold drinks. In fact, we're going to have uh, uh, very warm drinks, actually. We're going to have lava buckets that people can drink. But anyways, uh, I, I like that name, La Flame. So I'm just going to put that over here. La Flame. Boom. There we go. Sounds very fancy. Did you say that you were going to have some lava drinks? I think that would give me heartburn. And yeah, wait, I don't think you guys can really come to my restaurant. It's not really made for like water and earth elementals. But anyways, so far, the restaurant is looking sick. I just found this new type of slab that looks super cool and lava-y. And anyways, let me... Uh, uh, grab a trap door. What I can do over here, this could be like the side where the store clerk can like go through over here and like serve everyone the food up. Uh, I guess this isn't going to be like a full fancy restaurant or anything. It's just going to be like a small snack bar. Well, you should have some options for us. Uh, I, I kind of want to go over there sometime. What about, you know, like some coffee or something? And hmm, okay, okay. I'll think about it. I'll see what I can do for the water and uh, the earth elementals. But for now, I am prioritizing the fire elemental. So here, let me grab some chairs. Let me just search chairs and ooh, okay, uh, these oak ones look pretty good. And here, let me just set up some chairs and tables over here. And there we go. The tables and chairs are looking nice. But now what we have to do is make a menu. So here, let me grab some signs and some item frames really quick. And all right, here, first thing we got to do is like find everything that we're going to sell here. So of course, we got to sell some lava cake. So we can put down the lava cake over here. And this is going to cost uh two diamonds. Yeah, this will be one of our cheaper options. Two diamonds? Cheap? Hey, okay. Everything here is going to be super high quality. And ooh, wait, I think the next thing we can have is a fiery cake. This thing looks pretty good. I guess uh, this one can also be two diamonds since it's pretty much the same as the lava cake, but now we gotta step it up. Let's see, what other types of lava or fire food could we have? And Oh, uh, of course, we're gonna need some lava buckets and, whoa, what the heck is this? A lava charge? Okay, I'm sure the customers are gonna like these. I, I guess we can have the lava bucket over here as a nice little drink, and then we can also have the magma charge over here, and, oh, wait, I can't put it inside of the item frame. Uh, uh, okay, that's unfortunate. I guess we can't sell that. I guess we're gonna 
have to settle with some normal fireballs. These things are pretty good as well. Uh, I guess the lava bucket can cost uh, four diamonds. And the fireball can cost uh, three diamonds. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. I don't know how your people are going to afford that. It's going to be all good. Everyone who's a fire elemental is super cool and is probably going to be super rich. So it's going to be no problem. Uh, are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure everyone would, like wouldn't have a job because they're so hot headed. And oh, what? No, dude, that's not how it works. And ooh, wait a minute. I just found something called the searing taco. Okay, this looks at the very very good. I'm going to put this over here for our top menu item, and this one is going to cost five diamonds. It's going to be our most expensive thing. Five diamonds for a taco is crazy! And uh, In fact, I think it's a little bit too low. I think I might have to raise that up to ten diamonds. This is a really good taco, guys. Look, it's a searing taco. It's literally on fire. What in the world? Guys, it'll make sense once you get over here, all right? It's really good food. Uh, once you see it, uh, it'll all make sense. But anyways, now I actually need someone to, like, you know, operate and run the store while I'm not here. So here, I guess let me grab a villager and uh, yeah, this guy can run the store even though he's not a fire elemental. And oh, check it out. We got a chef villager first try. Okay, this is perfect. I'm going to name this guy um, Frank. Yeah, Frank the chef. Uh, you, you're running the store now. Uh, how much are you going to pay him? Oh, uh, good question. Uh, you can have uh, a stack of diamonds. Yeah, you can just have a stack of diamonds. And now you work here forever. Thanks. Forever? Uh, I wouldn't take that job. All right. Well, anyways, now that the main part of the restaurant is done, I need to add some decorations. So here, I guess we can just have some campfires around here. You know, keep the place nice and cozy. That's looking pretty good. Ooh, yeah, the smoke indoors is really good. We need a lot of that. Uh, I don't think so. I think you should uh, have the smoke go outside. Isn't that unhealthy? And, no, 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 no. Trust me. Fire and lava elementals love breathing in uh, campfire smoke. It's really healthy. I think I can smell that from over here. Can you stop? You're gonna burn all my folk down. No, what? What do you mean? You're all the way over there and I'm over here. It's gonna be just fine, but hey, yo, what, what are you doing, Frank? No, 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 you come on. You're not supposed to go on top of the campfire. I don't think he likes working there, Dash. And, no, 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 no. He, he loves working here. You know what? In fact, uh, let me slash give myself some barriers slash give uh, as barriers and all right, Frank, uh, you're, you're gonna, I'm gonna make you like a, your own little designated area over here. Let me just build you a little area out of some barriers really quick. We're just gonna have... Wait, Dash, can I come over to visit? And, uh, no, 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 Ruby, you cannot visit right now. We're not open yet. I just need to put all these barriers over here and let me give him his diamonds again and let me put that over there and all right now he can't escape yeah you, you can come visit now we're, we're open for business okay i'm coming over knock 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 hello oh wow <coughs> it's so smoky in here welcome ruby uh, what do you think how, how, how's the restaurant so far yeah it looks great but can you leave that part of the window open just for now and, oh, no, 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 come on you can't let the good smoke out we need that in here <gasps> i can't breathe in here i thought campfire smelled good frank hey frank do you want to leave? And, uh, blink twice if you need a help. And, uh, uh, guys, uh, what are you doing? Are you guys trying to uh, steal my employee? Say ha if you need help. And guys, 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 no, trust me. He likes working here, okay? He gets paid, uh, very well. Uh, you, you guys can't just steal him like that. Uh, are you sure he gets paid well? Uh, it looks like he's kind of stuck. What is this? And, uh, no, 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 don't worry about that. That's just, like, the, uh, the cash register area. You know, it, every store has one of these. Uh, dude, there's literally barriers right and, there. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, well, anyways, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go work on my next building now. Uh, you, you guys can buy stuff from Frank if you like. And uh, stop breaking the windows. Whatever. All right, all right. Well, anyways, what else does a city usually need? Oh, I guess what we need to do is build a park. We need to have, like, some sort of playground for, like, all the kids who want to visit the city. So, here, let me pull out the wand again. And I think I'm going to have to expand my plot. You know, I, I don't really have much room here. The city already needs to be expanded. So, here, let me just slash slash stack all of this. And wait, hold on. Did it work? Oh, yes. There we go. And here, let me also slash slash stack it once this way. So, here we go. Go! Wait, Dash, you're going onto my side! And, oh, 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 sorry about that. Uh, I, I've got a permit to be here. I actually own this land now. What if you want to build here? Trade something with me. And, uh, okay, I'll trade you a... Hold on, actually, I know what the perfect trade would be. Let me grab some paper and an anvil really quick. Um, okay. Yeah, just give me one second. Give me one second. Uh, and let me put this, um... $100 gift card to La Flame. Yeah, there we go. This is uh, priceless right here. All right, Ruby, where are you at? I have a, a trade offer here. I'll give you a $100 gift card to La Flame for uh, uh, some of your land. What? This is a horrible deal. I'll pay you not to build on my land. And, uh, okay, fine. I guess I won't build on your land. Fine. I'll just expand more that way. Okay, let me slash slash undo this. And here, I guess I can just slash slash tag this way again. There we go. That is looking good. All right, this is going to be a very long 
town. All right, all right. Well, anyways, the next thing I need to build now is the park. So uh, here, I guess we can build that over here. Okay, hold on. I think I accidentally uh, stacked some of the floor from the tower over here. So let me just slash slash set this to some netherrack. Boom, there we go. And all right, I've got a perfect idea for how I can build this park. So here, what I need to do is grab a shovel really quick. And here, now let me just run this command slash brush. Boom, there we go. And now what I can do, I can literally paint on the floor with some of this path grass stuff. So here, this is what I can make the park out of. This is going to be the most epic park ever. I'm just going to build like a nice little round area for the park over here. What, you're building a park? Are you going to have like playgrounds and stuff? And oh yeah, yeah, of course, I'm going to have playgrounds. I'm going to have like a, a basketball court. I'm going to have a soccer field. It's going to be sick. But here, I'm going to build the playground area first. I can build it right over here on this like flat grass uh, path area. So here, uh, what should I build for the first playground uh, thingy? Uh, what do people usually have at playgrounds? Um, like slides. And oh yeah, yeah, slides. You're right, you're right. Okay, uh, the, here, I guess I can build my slide out of a bunch of nether stuff. So let me grab some nether brick blocks, some nether bricks, some nether fence. And okay, yeah, this should be everything. Oh, I also need some stairs. Yeah, definitely. Um, make sure that slide isn't too tall. You don't want any kids getting hurt. And no, 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 trust me. It's going to be sick. I'm going to make it super tall. And then at the very end, I'm going to have a pit of lava that people can land in. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay. If that sounds good to you, uh... That sounds dangerous. No, no, no. Trust me, Ruby. It's gonna be sick. You know, all the fire elemental kids are gonna like it. But what I need to do first is actually build the ladder to get up to the top. So here, let me just put down all of this ladder over here. That is looking pretty nice. And now it's time to actually build the slide. And okay, I guess I can just use stairs for this. That's probably the best block I should use. And Okay, hold on. You know what? Stairs, they're, they're, they're not really steep enough. That's not really enough of a fun slide. What? Not steep enough? How steep are you building that thing? Uh, okay, I have an idea. I could build it this steep. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, that's a nice-looking slide right there. Hold on. I gotta take a look at this. What are you doing? And, oh, that is very steep. Uh, are you sure about that? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. I'm pretty sure, like, the more steep a slide is, the more fun it is. So, we just gotta make the steepest slide ever. This is gonna be awesome. Well, if you get in trouble because a lava kid gets hurt, I told you so. And no, no, I'm not going to get in trouble, okay? No one's going to get hurt. It's all going to be super safe. I'm going to have, like, guardrails on the side and everything to make sure that people don't fall off. And, yeah, speaking about the guardrails, time to build that now. So... Uh, I guess I can just build them out of some of these blocks and ooh, wait, wait, no, 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 actually, hold on I gotta make this more epic looking, let me grab some netherrack, and I'm gonna build the side rails out of some netherrack except, it's not just gonna be normal netherrack I'm gonna light it on fire, this is gonna be the most lit slide ever, uh, well, are you ready to test your slide, I, I brought someone and, uh, what the, who is this, I, I it's uh, it's uh, not important, but anyway uh, we could, uh, you know, test this and, slide, whoa, and whoa, whoa, dude, 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 you can't push him into the fire, he's not even a fire elemental this slide is for fire elementals only well, that's not fair to, like, normal people Oh, yeah, but this city isn't meant for normal people, all right? This city is meant for fire and lava elementals only, so get this guy out of here. Who even is this? Cam, I'm getting a feeling that he doesn't want us to be over there. And no, 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 no. I'll build stuff for, like, water and earth elementals later, but first, I gotta build all the fire stuff because that is way more important. Uh, Dash, you realize most cities make their money from tourists, right? How are you supposed to make money if you don't have tourists? And, oh, wait, you're right. Uh, okay, well, well, I'll add some tourist attractions later, uh, but, you know, first, I gotta finish all the fire elemental stuff. And speaking about the fire elemental stuff, this slide is looking sick. This is actually the coolest slide ever. What I need to do now is just grab some lava and I just need to add like a little lava pit at the end because people are going to be going so fast that they're going to need like something to break their fall. So let me just go down over here like this and let me just set all of this floor over here to some netherrack and now we can fill it up with lava. Boom. That is looking awesome. Let's go. All right. Well, uh, what else do I need to build in a uh, playground? Dash, with how big that slide is, you might as well build a roller coaster. <gasps> Wait, a roller coaster? I I didn't even think about that. That is a banger idea. All right, thank you very much, Ruby. I'm building a roller coaster. Wait, I didn't want to give you an idea. No, 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 no. Roller coasters are gonna be sick here. Let me grab all of the rails that I need and some mine carts really quick. And all right, this is about to be the most epic extreme roller coaster ever. Everyone who comes on this roller coaster is gonna get so excited. This is an accident waiting to happen. And no, 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 no. No accidents are gonna happen on my roller coaster. All right, it's all gonna be super safe and uh, sturdy, very structurally safe. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay but I'm not getting on that roller coaster. And okay, okay. Well, I bet you'll change your mind once you see the roller coaster when it's done. It's gonna look so epic once it's done here. I gotta start putting down all of the rails. So let me just do that right now. I'm gonna have them all be like powered rails so that it goes super fast. That sounds so dangerous. What if someone falls off? And, no, no, no. No one's gonna fall off. Don't worry. 
about it. I'll put some fences on the side to make sure that no one falls off. Except for the end, because at the end, I'm going to have a drop and it's going to be so cool. Wait, I love roller coaster drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a drop that takes you right into a lava pit. It's going to be sick. How big is the drop and why lava? Well, uh, I can't do water. What else am I going to do? Uh, I don't know. What about slime? Yeah, I want to ride the roller coaster too. And Okay, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. I'll put some slime blocks at the end of the drop just so that you guys can ride it as well. Yay! All right, all right. Well, anyways, let me just continue building this roller coaster going all the way up here. Let me build another turn over here. So we just need to have the roller coaster turn like this. Uh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah, now that's a good turn. And here, I'm going to make this thing go way up in the air. This is going to be sick. Uh, I'm going to get sick if I go on that. And, and no, no, no. Trust me. It's going to be all good. And okay, I think this should be about tall enough. We can build the landing platform or the drop platform somewhere here. Let's just have it turn again. We can have it turn a little bit over here. We should have it turn like in the center of the playground. Ground. Yeah, that can be good. And all right here. Let me just extend this going out forward a little bit just like that. And okay, I think this should be far out enough. Now let's go down over here. And right over here is where we can build the slime pit for the drop. So let me grab some slime and let me just put a bunch of slime down all the way over here. I'm going to have to make sure to build a big platform because I do not want people not hit falling on the platform when they drop. So here, I think this should be good enough. Uh, yeah, this definitely should be good. Let me just put some fences around here just to make it look nice. And boom, there we go. I think that should work. But anyways, now the only thing that's left to do is to test out the roller coaster. So here, let me grab one of my minecarts and a button. And let me just put down the button right over here and the minecart here. And all right, guys, I'm about to take the roller coaster for the first test. Are you guys ready? Uh, yeah, uh, careful. And yeah, trust me, it's all safe. Let me just hit that button. And here we go. Go! Oh, wait, I forgot to power the rails. Okay, hold on. I need to grab some redstone blocks. Let me just put all these redstone blocks over here. And all right, there we go. Now the rails are getting powered. All right. Is it ready for people to ride it yet? Almost, almost here. I just got to finish putting a few more redstone blocks down. There we go. And let me just put down one more over here. And all right, now it should be ready. Let me go back all the way down over here again. And let me grab another minecart. And all right, all right, here we go. Attempt to this better work. Let's see. Let me hit the button. And all right, all right, I am going up. I am I am now ascending on the roller coaster. Uh, careful! And here we go, here we go. I'm about to hit the drop and let's go! All right, I'm landing on the drop. Hopefully, I actually land on it and, and not on the fences and... Uh, okay, that kind of worked. I, I kind of uh, hit the fence. Okay, this is an easy fix, though. Let me just select all of this, and let me just slash, slash, move it a few blocks this way. Boom, there we go. And all right, perfect. Now we'll line up perfectly with the drop, and uh, let me repair this area as well. Let me just slash, slash, stack this path, and there we go. All right, now the drop is done. All right, I think that's enough for this playground area over here, but hmm, what else do I need to build for my city? What about some shopping places? <gasps> Wait a minute, that's a banger idea. People are gonna need a place to, like, you know, buy their food food and like groceries and all that. Okay, I should build a giant shopping mall. Yeah, okay, that's the next thing I'm gonna build. Oh, a shopping mall? You better have some water and earth stuff in there. And oh, yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'll definitely make sure to include some water and uh, earth stuff in here for you guys. But here, I was thinking I could build this entire mall out of some quartz. This could look pretty sick. So let me do slash slash walls, quartz, boom, there we go. And let me set the roof to some quartz as well. So let me do slash slash set quartz for the roof, boom, there we go. And all right, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm gonna need a pretty big entrance since it's like a really big building so let me just build a nice huge entrance right over here that's looking pretty good here let's set all of the floor to some quartz as well so let's do slash slash set quartz there and all right all right now that the base of the mall is complete all we got to do is actually build the shops inside of them so here i guess we can just uh make this entire hallway over here be out of shop so uh, let me just set all of this into some shops so slash slash set quartz boom there we go and let me also set the roof as quartz and all right all right this is gonna be the shop area so here we can just have one shop right over here and uh we can have another shop over here let's see how many shops can i fit in here i guess we can have four in total so we can have another one over here and another one right over here nice okay that looks good so here now let me just go on the inside and set some walls for all of these shops there we go they need to be a little bit separated like this and all right now that i have rooms for each one of the shops what do i actually put inside of them. Well, what do you think that people want? And okay, good question. Well, the first thing that people are going to need is like groceries, of course. So uh, I guess this one over here can be like the grocery store. Uh, so let's just do slash slash replace quartz with some wood. Boom. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. Oh, wait, we also have to do this wall over here. Nice. That looks awesome. And all right, now we actually got to build the grocery area. So, so here, what we need is the front checkout counter first. So let me grab some stairs and some slabs. And all right, this will be the main checkout area. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And all right here, now we got to have some tables 
tables across the entire room where we can have all of like the merchandise on. Uh, what merchandise are you selling? Well, this is supposed to be the grocery store. So uh, let's see what type of uh, groceries do people usually need? I guess we're going to need to get some uh, carrots. Definitely. That's going to be very important. Some uh, apples. Yeah, that's that's normal stuff that they sell at grocery stores. Some steak. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty normal. Finally, some food that I can eat. Oh, and what about some lava buckets? Yeah, people are going to want some homemade lava. Oh, come on. Yeah, can you keep anything like just normal? No, guys, come on. I have to have some stuff here for the lava elementals. But here, I guess I could put most of like the uh, carrots and steak and all that. I can have some barrels over here on the side. Yeah, this could be like the uh, refrigerated area, I guess. So we can just have these barrels over here and we can have all of these carrots inside of that. And then we can have all of these apples inside this one. And then we can have the steak inside of this one. And then we can have the lava buckets inside of this one. Let's go. Well, I guess there's a variety. I guess that's fine. And wait, wait, hold on. I'm also going to need to have some meat inside of my grocery store. So let's see. Uh, let's get like all the good meats. And whoa, what the? Wait, this is meat? This looks like a plant. What? Meat that looks like a plant? Give it to me. And oh, yeah, yeah, right. Because you're like the earth elemental. All right, here. I'm about to pull up. I'm going to give you like a full free uh, delivery of this uh, the green meat. Where you at? Oh, there you are. All right, uh, here are some uh, green meat. Whoa, this looks so good. Yeah, I don't really know what it is. It's raw, though, so uh, make sure to cook it. But anyways, I'm going to get back to my store. Okay, bye. All right, well, here, I guess I can grab some plates. And on top of each one of these tables, I'll just put a little bit of the food that we serve inside of this uh, grocery store. So here, we're going to need some of that green meat. Let's see, what else do we need? Here, I'm just going to grab, like, all of the raw meat that I could find. So here, what about some of this raw Yale meat? Uh, Let's see, let's see. What, cosmic meatballs. What in the world are these? I, I don't even know, but I'll grab those. Oh, wait, what about a moss pie? I don't know what that is, but that sounds good. Uh, let's see. Let's see some raw Ica meat. I don't know what that is either, but it looks really great. We'll, we'll put that on the tables. There we go. It's going to have a little bit of all of this stuff on each one of these plates. And whoa, okay. Yeah, we have like the most crazy food selection over here ever. But here, we should also probably have some normal foods. So like raw pork chops, raw beef and raw chicken, all that. And over here on this table, we can have like the treats. So we can have some cake, some, uh, Ooh, golden apples and some cookies. Yeah, let's put all of that down over here. And oh, wait, hold on. Let's just put the cake down like that. Yeah, there we go. Why wow, your grocery store is actually kind of sounding nice. And yeah, yeah, it's really awesome. All I have to do now is just like make a little uh, checkout register thingy over here so we can have a barrel over here where like the store clerk can put all the money in. And now I just need another store clerk. So uh, let me grab another villager. And okay, I'm gonna grab some barriers as well because I already know what this guy's gonna do. Oh no, are you forcing another villager to work for you? And, no, 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 it's not forcing. He, he wanted to do it and there we go all right this guy's name is gonna be bob yeah and he can get paid uh one stack of gold yeah there you go that's one stack of gold now this is your job for your whole life that it's not normal. No, no, no. It's fine. Trust me. He likes it. But anyways, what do I need to build? And my other three stores. I also got three more stores that I need to fill. Um, what about a clothes store? And oh, wait a minute. Yeah, a clothing store. Okay, that's going to be very important because like people in the city are going to need clothes. But anyways, I guess I can build that over here inside of this store. Uh, all right, let's see. What should we build the walls out of for the clothing store? Uh, oh, uh, Dash, careful. And uh, wait, 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 what's going on? What, what happened? Uh, I may have sent a ice charge at your house. Uh, what, what, the, what the heck is this? Hey, yo, get this out of here. I Ice charge by accident? Dude, what in the world is going on over there? Oh my god, dude, get all of this ice stuff out of here. Uh, oops, I I'm sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, what in the world is going on in your tower? And hey, yo, what? You're shooting one at Ruby as well? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Shh. Dude, I'm trying to figure this out. Hey, leave me alone. I'm not doing anything. And, okay, I'm just going to go back to my uh, store over here. Anyways, now I need to build this clothing store area. So what I can do is select this position over here and also this position here. And all right, let's see. What should we set the walls to for this one? I guess let me do slash slash replace quartz with uh concrete yeah yeah just like a slightly different uh, color block all right that <laughs> that works and ooh, okay here inside of this store let me grab some armor stands and some stone bricks and we can just have like a bunch of clothes over here around the store we can just have like uh, the armor stands over here on the walls and people can just go around and like see what the clothes they, they want to buy and then we can have the main checkout area be right over here so let me build that really quick we can build the main checkout area right over here like this there we go that is looking nice and here, now let's just finish putting down all of our armor stands. So we could just have a few last ones right over here like that. And there we go. I think that should be enough armor stands. But now we actually got to find out what type of clothes we're going to put on them. So, uh, ooh, okay, I got an idea. Let me grab some of this leather armor right over here. And let me also grab some dye. And pretty much we're going to have every color of clothing. It's going to be awesome. So let me grab a little bit of every color we got. And oh, wait, my inventory is full. I need to put some over there in my main inventory. Oh, wait, you guys are having every color? And yeah. 
yep, we're gonna have every single color of leather armor. So here, I guess uh, that can be like our main thing. We could put the leather armor right over here, just like that. There we go. And oh, wait, wait, actually, no, no. What we should do underneath it, we could put down a barrel like that and then put the armor stand on top of it. And then inside of the barrel, we could have versions of it with every single color. So yeah, yeah, that's gonna work here. Let me just grab every color of it. So we need to grab some uh, orange. So yeah, let's grab a little bit of orange leather armor, just like this. And now let's yeet that inside of the barrel looking good. And all right, let's see what other colors are gonna be important. Oh, what about like the color blue? And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Blue's probably gonna be a popular color. All right, well, here, let me just dye this armor blue. Ooh, what about some green? And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Green's also gonna be very important. So let me, uh, let me just put all this blue stuff inside of the barrel really quick. And here, let me grab another set of leather armor. Boom. And now I'm just gonna dye this one completely green. There we go. This is looking nice. And okay, wait, it looks like I only have enough room for the barrel for three more sets of armor. Okay, I'm not gonna have every color of armor, but I'm gonna have like all the good ones. So uh, here, I guess the next color of armor I need to get is purple because purple is a banger color. Ooh, ooh you should do magenta. And oh yeah, okay, I'll do magenta next, I guess. Uh, what about yellow? And oh yeah, yeah, yellow as well. Okay, I'll do that next. Let me just put all of the purple one down over here first. And now let me grab another set of armor and let me grab some magenta dye. And let me just put that all in here, just like this. Boom, there we go. Magenta armor done. And now I just gotta do yellow. Oh, I'm definitely gonna buy the yellow armor. Let's go here. I'm almost done dyeing it. Let me just dye it all like that. And boom, there we go. The yellow armor is complete. I've got like every single color of armor here. Almost, I, I, I've got all the good ones. But anyways, how much should I make the leather armor cost? I gotta put some pricing on this. Uh, I guess I can make it cost, you know, since it's leather armor, we can just have it cost two diamonds. Uh, that's kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of expensive, but this is a normal leather armor. This is dyed leather armor that I dyed manually myself. It's handmade, okay? Um, I guess so, but they could just save the diamonds to make their own diamond armor. Yeah, but you can't really craft diamond armor with only two diamonds, so this is uh, definitely worth it. But anyways, now I need to have some other types of clothes in this store, so let's see. What types of armor do we have? And Ooh, okay, wait, hold on a minute. There's a lot of different types of armor. <gasps> wait, sapphire armor? Okay, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna grab some of that, and oh, wait, hold on. Ruby, I didn't know you had armor. What? I have armor? Yeah, yeah, wait, I just found ruby armor. I'm gonna put this down in my store as well. Ooh, I'm gonna buy that one. Let's go here. I'm just gonna have like every single random type of armor ever. I'm gonna have some of this, ooh, emerald armor. Don't mind if I do. And ooh, amethyst armor that is looking pretty awesome. Let me just put these on all of the armor stands inside of my store. And I guess for all of these armors, uh, they could also cost uh, two diamonds. Yeah, I guess all of the armor in my store is gonna cost two diamonds. Wow, that's actually not bad pricing. And yeah, yeah, see, it's uh, very cheap, very good. But uh, here, yeah, let me just put down these two diamond signs on all of the clothes really quick. Let me just put them down on all of these armor stands. Boom, there we go. And all right, now I just need to fill all the armor stands with armor. So let's see, what other types of armor do we have? And ooh, wait, chroma armor. This looks pretty cool. What is this? Aquamarine armor. <gasps> wait, Cam, this is like your type of armor right here. Uh, wait, what? Aquamarine armor. That, that's like water, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, hold on, let me go check it out. Uh, where in the world is your entrance to your it's grocery store. Oh, there it is. And oh, but no, no, no. The grocery store is over there. It is, it is the clothing store. You got to pull up here and yeah, check it out. This is the aqua marine armor. It looks pretty awesome. And whoa, wait, what the? What armor are you wearing right now? Oh, this is the blue crystal armor. It's made of pure water crystals. Oh, 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 right. But anyways, that actually does look pretty cool. I'm going to grab some of those as well. And I'm going to put some of those up in my store. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And I also found some pretty cool armor for my residence. Uh, here, let me grab it for you. And wait, wait, you did? What is it? Oh, let me show you. It's called the God armor. It's actually pretty cool uh, that you might want to increase the price on this one not gonna lie and, whoa what the god armor oh my gosh that looks op yeah i'm definitely gonna have to increase the price on that one i'm gonna set this one up to uh 64 diamonds yeah that is very op and yeah we gotta make sure to have it hidden in the back of the store over here this one's gonna be high in demand yeah this is like ancient armor if you wear it you turn into a water god it's actually pretty cool whoa that is awesome all right all right well here i've only got a few armor stands left that i need to fill so let me just grab some armor for all of these i'm just gonna grab like a bunch of random armor so uh let's see let's see i guess i can have some of this lapis armor that looks good and ooh, wait rainbow armor okay i don't mind if i do let me grab some of that we can have this go all in over here and whoa wait this rainbow armor looks pretty cool i'm just grabbing every single random type of armor that i see and i'm just putting them on my armor stand so boom there we go i've only got a few left to fill this armor room is actually looking sick so far and whoa wait i just found something called the infinity armor okay wait hold on this also looks pretty op let me try putting that over here and oh 
Whoa, check that out. Whoa, look, it's facing the, the, the water god armor. Okay, hold on. I think I'm going to have to bump up the price on this one as well. I'm going to set this one to... Oh, wait, hold on. I just broke it. Let me uh, to put that back. There we go. And okay, I'm going to price this one at uh 128 diamonds because this one looks uh, pretty crazy. 128 diamonds? This better be some crazy armor. And oh, yeah, yeah, trust me. It's going to be pretty crazy once you see it. But anyways, let me just fill up these last two armor stands right over here. Here, and boom there we go my clothing shop is complete but now all i need to do is have another uh you know employee working at it so let me just grab some more barriers oh gosh not again and let me just put this guy in over here and boom there we go and oh wait this guy kind of looks like frank's brother uh, how much are you gonna pay this guy and uh good question i'm gonna pay him a stack of emeralds yeah there you go but anyways there we go that is the clothing shop done now i've only got two more shops that i need to fill so hmm what should i fill inside of this one over here and <gasps> wait what about a toy store yeah that could be cool. Ooh, that'll be good for the kids. And yeah, yeah, exactly. I should have a store for the kids as well. So uh, let me grab some slabs and uh, some stairs so that I can make another countertop. We can have the countertop for this store be right over here like this. There we go. That is looking pretty nice. And here, I was thinking for this store, we should just have some shelves on the walls. That could be like the layout for this store. Yeah, this should look pretty good. What type of toys are you going to sell in the store? And hmm, that's a good question. Let's see. Well, what type of toys are there? Can I get plushies? And <gasps> whoa, wait, there's creeper plushies and pig plushies. Okay. That, that's gonna be pretty cool. These are gonna be high in demand. So I'll just have like a wall over here for the creeper plushies and a wall over here for the pig plushies. This is gonna be sick. And oh, wait, actually, I just got a cool idea for this store. I'm gonna set the floor into some red wool. This is gonna be awesome. Boom, there we go. That is looking pretty sick. And all right, I, and now I just need to have another worker in this store. So let me grab another villager. And of course, you know the drill. We need some more barriers. So let's just put these over here like that. And all right, this guy over here is gonna be named uh, Smelvin. Yeah. Smelvin's kind of a weird name. What? No, it's not. It's a great name. I'm sure all the kids are going to really like his name and they're going to like want to come back in the shop and like buy more stuff. Uh, no, kids are going to be scared of him. What kind of name is that? And, what? No, and, uh, dude, don't make fun of Smelvin's name, okay? It's a perfectly fine name. But anyways, since this guy's operating like one of the easier stores, I'm going to only pay him a stack of iron. There we go. That's that's his payment. But anyways, now I've only got one more store left that I need to fill. And okay, this store's kind of small. What should I put in here? Ooh, ooh you should sell dirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what about some water? Uh, 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 dirt and water? Guys, I'm not going to sell dirt and water. Why would anyone want dirt and water? Because you need dirt to live. And water. And what? No, you don't. That's just what you guys need because you're like elementals. And oh, wait a minute. I could make like an entire elemental shop. I can sell dirt, water, and fire stuff in here. That could be cool. Maybe you can sell potions too. And oh, yeah, yeah. This could be the elemental equipment shop. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So here, here. Let me just set up this countertop really quick. So just like this. There we go. This is going to be the checkout area. And uh, ooh. Ooh, okay, I already know what I'm gonna make the walls of this room made out of. Let me just select this position over here and all the way over here in this corner. Let me select this position. And here, I'm gonna replace the quartz with some magma blocks, some water blocks, and of course, some dirt blocks. There we go. Okay, actually, hold on. I'm not gonna lie. This dirt looks kind of ugly, Ruby. I'm not sure if I really wanna build out of dirt. Please. Um, what if I just sell dirt in the store and not actually build out of it? And ooh, yeah, this area looks so much cooler without the dirt. Oh, fine. Awesome. All right. Well, anyways, for the layout of this store, I guess I can just have like a bunch of chests everywhere with all of the merchandise. So let's just have some chests over here all around the store just like this. There we go. And here we can have them be like double decker chests. Yeah, we can have some chests up on the top as well. Boom. Looking good. And let's have some slabs below them so that it looks like they're being held up by shelves. Psst, yo, Dash. And yo, yo, wait, Cam, what's up? I, I got a business offer for you. And, wait, wait, you do? What is it? Uh, you know how, uh, you know how you're selling those plushies, right? And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, uh, just take some of these. Sell some of those. Uh, what the? Uh, are, are these my heads? Uh, yeah, they're your plushies. How did you get these? What the? Don't worry about it. I just cloned you. I just sell them. They're mega profit. Uh, what in the world? Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I guess I'll put some of these in. Thanks. But, but, but you have to give me 30%. Wait, what? 30% of the money? Uh, yeah, 40%. Uh, 40? Uh, no, I, I'll do 10% at most. Okay, 50 it is. The What the? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, fine. I'll put these in the store. These are pretty cool plushies. I'm not gonna lie. I guess Cam's a pretty good businessman, huh? Yeah, what the? He just came in here and just scammed me. I don't even know how I, uh, how that happened. I didn't scam you. I gave you business offering. I said you get 10%, not 50%. Uh, 
well, I said 50%, not 10%. So... He's your friend. Why would he ever scam you? Uh, okay, whatever. Well, anyways, back to the elemental store. This is probably the coolest store in the entire mall. So let me just put down a really nice... Ooh, I should put down a fancy door here. I'm gonna put down some of these modern sliding doors. Yeah, that looks sick. All right, so now we got the modern sliding doors. And now we have to have all of the uh, elemental equipment inside of these chests. So, ooh, what we could do is... Uh, here, yeah, let me grab some item frames. And here, I'm just gonna put some item frames on each one of the chests over here and pretty much on each chest i'm gonna have items for each element so let me grab a water bucket a lava bucket a grass block and uh the, what's the other element um uh, what about ice and, oh, oh yeah yeah i guess i can uh, have ice for the other elements and inside of these chests i can have all of the stuff for that element so this one can be the water element chest this one can be the lava element chest this one can be the grass element chest and this one can be the ice element chest and let's just do the same over here on this side there we go looking good and all right now i just gotta fill the chest so inside of this first chest uh, for the lava elements we have to put a bunch of lava buckets of course Ooh, wait let's put down a bunch of these cool fireball charges yeah yeah these are gonna be super cool let's just put down a bunch of these just like that there we go and oh wait we can also put down some of these fire heart cookies yeah these look pretty cool this will be like a good snack but anyways now it's time for the water chest uh, i guess for this one we can put a bunch of water of course that's gonna be important and all right let's see are there any cool water fireball things that we could use and whoa wait aqua pulse charge this looks pretty cool and Okay, wait, what the? Water balloons? Okay, don't mind if I do. We can put those inside over here. We just have a bunch of water balloons and these aqua pulse charged things. And let's see, let's see. What else does a water elemental need? And oh, wait, what about a water breathing heart cookie? Yeah, that could be cool. All right, all right. And now it's time for the ice element. So here, I guess, uh, of course, for the first few rows, we got to have some ice. And then let's see, are there any cool ice charges we can use? And whoa, ice fireball. All right, that sounds awesome. Let's chuck some of those inside over here. And then let's see, is there an ice cookie? And oh, Oh, wait, hold on. There doesn't seem to be an ice cookie. Uh, I guess we can just give them a water breathing cookie since like, you know, ice and water are the same thing. Pretty much ice is just like frozen. Ice and water are not the same thing. Well, yeah, they are. Ice is just frozen water. So it's just like colder. I mean, he's got a point. I guess so. And all right. Well, now inside of the earth chest, let's see what type of uh, stuff does an earth elemental need. And oh, wait, what about a mud charge? Ooh, mud charges? That sounds awesome. And wait, boulder blast charge? Okay, that sounds very uh, earthy. I guess I'll put that inside of the the chest over here like that and all right let's see is there such thing as an earth cookie is that a is that a thing and no there doesn't seem to be an earth cookie i i guess uh, that you can just have a, a speed heart cookie yeah and boom there we go all the chests are now filled but anyways now all i have to do is just uh, copy these chests over here on the other side so let's just do that right now there we go and boom there we go now all of the chests are filled up with a bunch of elemental stuff now the only thing we need is another worker over here so you know the drill it's time to grab another villager Oh, you're gonna trap him again, aren't you? No, 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 it's not trapping. I'm just uh, giving him his little checkout area and oh, okay Hold on. He probably shouldn't be standing on the magma block. There we go And then let me just uh, put these barriers around over here And since this is probably like the coolest store inside of the entire mall, I'll pay this guy uh, Two stacks of diamonds This is gonna be the highest paid dude inside of my uh, entire mall And there you go. There are your diamonds and all right I, I think my entire mall is done now. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to look at it during the tours I, I got a glimpse of it and whoa, what the I just Took a look at your castle and what in the world is that? Is that a big ice ball at the top of it? Uh, no, it's the ice planet. That's where our kingdom gets all of our power. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That actually looks super sick. And whoa, wait, Ruby, your kingdom's actually looking pretty cool as well. But uh, I was kind of right. It kind of does look like a little village. What do you mean it looks like a village? It's a kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still doesn't compare to my city. But quick, I need to build like some other stuff for my cities. I've got the towers. I've got the restaurant. I've got the shopping mall. Now all I need are some houses. Yeah, I need some individual houses. And oh no, oh no, how could I have forgotten this? Houses are like the most important thing uh, in a city. So uh, let's see, let's see. What type of blocks could I build the houses out of? And wait a minute, hold on. What if I build them out of these blocks? These blocks look super cool. All right, let me grab a little bit of all of this and I'll just build the houses over here. I'm gonna build like uh, sick mansions, yeah. Mansions? How big are your houses gonna be? Oh, oh, they're gonna be huge. All the citizens living inside of my houses are gonna be so excited. Uh, let me just set all of the walls for the house first. Let me just uh, slash slash stack this there we go and let me do the same for this side and also this side over here and boom there we go all right the base of the house is done and okay maybe it's not a mansion but it's still gonna be a really nice house let me just uh, select all of it real quick and just move it one block that way all right so now we have a little bit room like in between over here and what we could do is just put down some stairs like 
this there we go and now we need to grab a door and we can put down the door right over here in the middle and oh wait hold on we also have to set the floor into some of these blocks so let me just slash slash stack this and hold on wait we need to set the roof in as well so let's slash slash stack that there we go and now we gotta deck out the inside of the house so ooh, the first thing we should add are some windows so let me select this and slash slash set glass boom and actually you know what normal glass is boring we need some orange stained glass so let me set it to some orange stained glass boom there we go and oh yeah that is looking much nicer here let me just set a bunch of windows all around the house and all right that's looking pretty good now i gotta put down all the beds and like you know uh, the normal house stuff that people need so uh here i guess we can just have some beds over here on this side there we go we can have a few of these bedside cabinets over here just like that and oh okay now we need to add like all the utility items so we need some crafting tables some furnaces of course an anvil because why not and here let's just put all of this down over here and there we go that's looking pretty good and wait guys well, what else do people need in houses um, a bathroom and oh yeah yeah you're right a bathroom and okay i'm not gonna lie this house is a little bit smaller than i thought it was gonna be i'm not sure if i'm gonna have room for like a whole bathroom but uh, i guess what i could do is just have like a toilet out in the open yeah we can just have a toilet over there and since it's supposed to be a bathroom we could also have a bath so there we go and uh here we should probably fill this thing up with water as well or wait actually can we fill it up with lava let me try this out and uh now you cannot fill it up with lava all right well the water it is unfortunately and here let me also grab a sink and we can put that there and all right there we go my bathroom house thingy is complete and wait wait actually one more thing we also need are some chests for storage so let's just put those over here like this there we go and all right awesome my house is complete this looks sick uh, you're just gonna have one house uh, i thought you said you were making a city oh don't even worry about it i'm not done with my houses yet what i need to do is just to uh, select this house over here so let me just select each corner of the house and then let me go over here in front of it and let me just run the command slash slash copy and slash slash rotate 180 and oh wait wait hold on one more thing i need to do is just uh, extend my platform a little bit so let me just select this and uh slash slash stack this a few times there we go awesome that should be big enough and now let me just go over here in front of this house right over here and let me run the command slash slash paste boom there we go check it out look now i've got like a second house only two houses aren't you gonna need a little bit more than that for like a city and oh oh, oh don't even worry about it i'm not done yet what i need to do now is just select both of these houses like this and then let me look this way and run the command slash slash stack three there we go now this is is what I'm talking about. Although uh, some of the houses are kind of going off the floor. I should probably uh, extend the floor a little bit. And all right, all right. These houses are looking pretty awesome, but uh, hold on. I just realized I've got a lot of space behind the houses. What if I give each house their own backyard? That's going to be awesome. Let me grab some fences and let me just build a little backyard area for this house right over here. All I have to do is build one backyard area and then I can just copy and paste it on all of the other houses. So let me just put that down. There we go. Let's just set this floor over here to some nether rack. So slash slash set nether Ack, boom, there we go. And all right, let's see. Where are we going to make the entrance for this backyard? Let's check out what it looks like inside of the house. Let's see, let's see. And oh, uh, I guess we can... Um, oh, what we could do is move all of this equipment over here. We can move the kitchen sink over here. We can move the toilet and the bath over here as well. There we go. Or actually, hold on. We should move the bath over here and then the toilet here. That way you still have access to your crafting table. And then we can have the backyard door be right over here. Yeah, this is looking sick. And oh, wait, wait, wait. Inside of the backyard, what I could have is like a bunch of fire because, you know, uh, the fire and lava elementals love messing around with fire. So we can just have a bunch of that there. That looks good. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we could have like a, a few lava buckets every here and there just to make it look a little bit nicer. That looks nice. And oh, yeah. Okay. That is looking very uh, fire elementally. Is that even a word? And I, I don't know, but it is now. But now all I need to do is just go over here in this corner and select this position and then go over here in this corner and select this position. And now let me run the command slash slash stack three boom there we go and now check it out all of my houses have their very own backyards filled with uh, fire and lava stuff this actually looks sick let me do the same over here on this side now let me just copy all this again and slash slash rotate it and let me go over here on this side and slash slash paste it in boom and all right now i'm pretty sure i should have a backyard here yes check it out that's awesome and okay wait hold on it looks like i have to rotate these stairs manually i don't think they rotated with the slash slash rotate command let me just fix all of that there we go and let me just select all of this 
this and then slash slash stack it on this side as well boom there we go and awesome now all of the houses have their own backyards this is sick but wait dash what if something you know goes wrong and you need to like evacuate and wait wait what, what do you mean like an evacuation plan to leave the city if it gets overrun what overrun by who my ice castle and what dude my city is not gonna get overrun by your ice castle but wait a minute that gives me an idea i need to build some defenses for my city just in case it does get overrun okay well uh, you asked for this let's see what do i need to build first well, no that wasn't what i was talking about and, dude you literally have cannons pointing at my city i need to build some sort of defense okay let's see what do i need to build oh come on i wasn't planning on using them unless i needed to and, what dude you are definitely planning on using them. okay i need to build some sort of defense system what do i do oh gosh oh well you have fun with that but my ice kingdom could definitely beat your city in a fight and the what no way dude okay i gotta step up my city defenses i completely forgot that i need like some sort of protection in my city so uh let's see let's see what type of protection could i do <gasps> okay i have one idea but this is gonna be a bit risky what if i build a tnt cannon on top of my tower over here okay i i think that could work let me grab some dispensers and okay i have an interesting idea for how we can build this tnt cannon i'm not sure if this is gonna work because i have an idea for a new design and i've never tested it yet but it might work so let me grab a lever and a repeater and just everything that i need and okay okay before we build it facing cam's ice kingdom over there let's just build one facing off into the void so we can test it so what i need to do is build like a little shape like this i'm pretty sure and then we gotta have our dispensers over here like that and then we gotta have some uh more dispensers over here like this there we go and oh gosh i'm stuck there. okay there we go and then let's put down our slabs over here and our water over here and oh wait hold on i also need to grab some tnt that's like the most important part let's fill up all of these dispensers with a bunch of tnt there we go and oh no wait hold on i found our problem this isn't gonna work okay hold on we have to move these dispensers one block up so let me slash slash move that there we go and okay now all we need to do is just hook everything up with some redstone so let's just put some uh repeaters over here and some redstone there like that and then have all of this come out to this redstone line and okay i'm not sure if this is gonna work but let's test it out hopefully it doesn't blow up my tower here we go and oh oh wait hold on i need to connect the redstone all right here we go take two let's try this out and okay okay this looks kind of promising please work and don't explode my tower and oh that uh, exploded my tower okay hold on i think the problem is that it's not going far enough hold on hold on i have another idea let me try that one more time let me just repair all this really quick because that did a lot of damage to my tower so let's just uh fix all of this over here there we go and okay i think the reason that it didn't go far enough is because we don't have enough power what we need is some more power so let me uh okay what we need to do is just break all of this because this old design was not gonna work this is a, a bad design let's just uh, select that slash slash set zero boom there we go and all right, what we need to do instead is have a bunch more dispensers because like I said, we need more power. And here now, let's just put some more dispensers going this way. And oh, we got to have some going on the sides as well like that. And there we go. That's a lot more dispensers. This should be hopefully powerful enough. Let's put our water in over here like that. And now we just got to have our uh, dispensers up here at the top so we can put those down over there like that. And all right, let's test out this. All we got to do is just connect everything up with some redstone. And here, I think one of the issues was we also need some more delay for these dispensers up here so let's just add a little bit more delay with these repeaters uh, i think three repeaters should be enough there we go and now we just got to connect everything together so uh how are we gonna do this i guess we can have some repeaters going in there we can have some uh, more repeaters going in here and then we can have all of this powered by this redstone i'm not sure if this is gonna work and nope that didn't work hold on this shouldn't blow up because there's water in there right uh, yeah okay there we go oh wait how are we gonna do this oh what we could do is grab some slabs and put those over there and wait no that's not gonna work either Okay, wait, hold on. This is actually getting complicated. Okay, so here, let me put down all these repeaters over there like is that. And I also need some more repeaters uh, up here. Uh, okay, what I need to do is have all of these connected with some redstone just like that. There we go. And let's just connect that to these dispensers over here on the side as well. There we go. And now all we need to do is just connect that redstone to these repeaters over here. And I'm pretty sure this should activate all of the dispensers at once. And okay, I think that definitely worked. They shouldn't actually blow anything up though because there's water there and yeah okay perfect but anyways that actually looks pretty good now all we need to do is just have that redstone go all the way up over here to these repeaters right here so let's just connect all of this and okay this should work let's try this out let me flick the lever and all right come on please do not explode my tower again come on come on this has to work it oh my god Gosh, that worked perfectly. Wait, wait, wait. I need to test that one more time. That actually looked so awesome. Did you see that? It activated like all at the same time and then they all went separate directions. And wait, what? Hold on. Why didn't it work? Wait, let me try that one more time and let me flick the lever. And all right, here we go. Let's see this. Let's see this. And whoa, 
check it out. That is awesome. All right, all right. Well, now that we know that everything works, all we gotta do is select this position and go all the way up here and select this position. And here, I'm just gonna slash slash cut this and then slash slash rotate it. There we go. And now let me just paste it over here so that it's facing Cam's castle. And there we go. That is perfect. All right, well, anyways, now that we have the cannon here, I think my city is done. Let's go. Oh, yeah, mine's done too. And mine is as well. Let's go, let's go. But hold on, wait, you guys. We just like tours of each other's cities now. Who should we check out first? Uh, why not Ruby's? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. All right, all right. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. And ooh, I see you still got like your original island over here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wanted to keep a little something something. And ooh, yeah, all right. That is pretty cool. But anyways, let's check it out. Whoa, okay, this looks pretty cool. You got like your whole mini kingdom here. Yeah, so you get the gate first. You see it, this big grand thing. It's so cool, right? We've got some guards over here. Bedrock guards. And whoa, what the, are those bedrock golems? Yes, they are. They're all over the place. They like to relax sometimes, and they take turns being on shift. Oh, wait, why do you need guards? Um, to protect my kingdom, of course. That's what the walls are for, and the archery towers are for. Oh, I didn't even realize those were archery towers. Yeah, the villagers are kind of stuck up there, but what can you do? And wait, you're using villagers as well. Let's go. Yeah, I thought I would join the club. All right, all right. Well, uh, what else do you have? And wait, what in the world is all this? Is this a pool? Oh. Oh, yeah, it's a pool. It's filled with special liquid. And oh, wait, what, what, what type of special liquid? This uh, this seems kind of weird. Oh, you know. Uh, uh, no, I, I I don't. What is it? It's just really good for plants. Is it pee? No, it's not. Oh, gosh. I, I was just swimming in it. That's kind of weird. All right. Well, uh, anyways, what else do you have? Okay, let's see over here. We have our food sources. And whoa, this food source is pretty cool. But I'm not going to lie. Your beetroots here are looking a bit raw. Let me just cook those for you there. There you go. Hey, my beets. Dude, I think you set fire to like everyone. Uh, the animals up here. And wait, did I set the animals on fire? And uh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I just did you a favor. I just cooked the chicken for you. Nice. Dash, my chickens are all gone now. Yeah, but look, you got perfect medium rare cooked chicken. This is awesome. Oh, I don't like medium rare chicken. I like well done chicken. Oh, don't worry about that. I can make it well done. Let me just uh, heat it up a bit more. There we go. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. What? You said you wanted well done. And oh, wait, I think I got that horse over there as well. Uh, not just the horse. Turn around. You got the rest of the mobs. <gasps> Steak, let's go. I didn't even raise them. The villagers did. They're going to be so disappointed. Nah, it's fine. Villagers don't have feelings. Don't worry about it. But anyways, what else do you have? Um, Okay, I guess we can check out the restaurant right here. And oh, wait, you have a restaurant as well? All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. I've got some more food for them, so I, I, I guess I can, like, stock them up. Here you go. There, there's your food supply for the month. They're actually, um, sometimes they're vegetarian, so you can't just give away meat to people. And, oh, wait, they're vegetarian? Oh, well, in that case, I guess I can just give them some, uh, saplings and stuff. Yeah, this is what vegetarians eat, right? Um, yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. So, over here is our menu. We've got some pod soul, some mushrooms, some beetroot soup. Soup and some trees. We want something a little crunchy, you know. Ruby, there's literally dirt. It's a cuisine. It is literally a, a dirt. I don't think that's edible. I'm, I'm, that's probably not healthy at all. Why don't you sit down and try some first? And uh, okay, okay, I, I, I guess I'll take a seat. All right, are you ready? This is our special secret menu item. And all right, what is this? And uh, oh, uh, suspicious stew. Uh, no, may, may I ask what, what's inside of this? Oh, you know, it's a little bit experimental. And uh, experimental? Are you sure it's safe to eat? Listen, look, he's trying to get it from you. He wants it so bad. And, oh, okay. I, I I guess I'll try it out. Let me let me set my game mode to survival really quick so I can drink it. He's staring at you a whole lot. All right. Well, uh, here, I guess I'll try it out. This better be good. And uh, uh, wait, Ruby, ow, what, are you sure that was edible? I have poison. Oh, I guess it's a little bit spicy. You good? Uh, no, no, no. That was not good at all. I, I think I'm about to throw up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm going in the pee water. And oh, okay, wait, it's gone. Oh, I wonder if they put in some trees in that. I told them not to put that in. And, well, I just ate a tree. Oh my gosh. All right, I get this bowl out of here. I'm never going in that restaurant again. Let me send my game mode back to creative. Okay, well, let's just move on over here then. The Earth Kingdom's weird. You guys eat trees and weird stuff. What do you mean it's weird? It's got fiber. Fiber is good for you. Yeah, but that's all it has. It's literally just tree. And yeah, I, I'm not sure if I really like the tree, but <gasps> whoa, but you have like a shopping area here? Food and clothes? Oh yeah, I don't remember if these signs are accurate. Um, Sometimes the villagers like to just sell whatever. And, but oh. in here, yeah, this is not food. This is clothes. And whoa, wait, I see you have some of the water god armor as well. That looks sick. Yeah, I thought it looked kind of radical. And wait, what? Is this tree armor? Oh yeah, yeah, that one's super duper popular. 
Yeah, I can tell why you guys eat trees around here. It's like you get a suit of armor and some food. And yeah, well, anyways, uh, hold on. What's in the other area? And Wait, I just realized you have doorbells. I'm going to spam these. Let's go. Stop. It costs me five cents every time you hit that. Stop. And oh, 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 I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, I guess let's check out the, uh, the, the, the clothes shop here and... Whoa, wait, these are some very interesting clothes, I will say. Oh, yeah, um, some of our villagers are a little bit eccentric, but I just actually like to read these, um... And, oh, wait, uh, it looks like your villagers are, are, are having a conversation or something right now. They're, they're really, uh, into it. Yeah, those two, um, I don't know. Actually, I think this is an information broker, but we don't talk about it. Oh, uh, wait, is this, like, your grocery store, you know, since books are made from trees? And, oh, yeah, right, do you guys eat the books? I guess so, we could, if you wanted. You want to try? And, no. No, 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 I, I think I'm good, but uh, anyways, uh, the, the, what, what else do you have? Oh, are you sure? We got plenty of books right here. No, 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 no I, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna pass. Thank you very much, but, uh, whoa, wait, what do you have up here? Well, we have some dirt huts on this side, some residential areas. And what, dirt huts? Uh, these look worse than villager houses, I'm not gonna lie. What do you mean? It's got the really popular straw roofs. Dirt Hut is home. Uh, I feel bad for whoever lives here. They can't even open the chest. The chest is underneath the furnace. Oh, I guess they wanted to do that to themselves, huh? I didn't do that. Let's just go over here. Didn't you build all of this? No, I didn't do that part, of course. Anyways, this is my throne. And whoa, what? You have a throne? And wait, what does this say? Earth rules, fire rules. Hey, what? No, that's wrong. Uh, fire actually, uh, hold on. What rhymes with rules? Uh, cools. Yeah, fire is cool. Wow, I don't know who wrote that. But anyways, here's my throne. If you want to talk to me, give me a dollar in here. <laughs> and what? We have to pay you? Uh, no, no, I, I, I think I'm good. I'm, I'm going to pass. Well, I mean, if you don't want my advice, then it's your loss. I don't need advice from someone who eats trees. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm good. But uh, wait, hold on, Kev. Can we check out your kingdom next? Uh, I, I think I've had enough time in the in the Earth Kingdom. Yeah, let's go check out the cool kingdom. What do you mean the cool kingdom? And all right, all right. I guess we can check it out, but it's definitely not going to be as cool as mine. But uh, yeah, let's see what you got here. Well, check out my awesome world. Water kingdom. And, whoa, this looks sick, but the way I don't see any water around here. What the? Oh, well, uh, yeah, because uh, you can't really build out of water, so we just build out of ice. It's just the same thing. And oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. And whoa, wait, what do you have over here? Wait, is this your store? Packed ice, five iron for three ice. Wait, oh, that's kind of a scam. Wait, this isn't even packed ice, this is normal ice. Th yeah, they make it on the spot. It's like one of those street vendors. And oh, all right, well, what do you have over here? Ice, five for five iron. And oh, that's kind of a scam. Let's see what about this. Blue ice, five iron for one ice. What? That is such a scam. It's all the same. Uh, yeah, because they make it in front of you. It's an experience. You pay for the experience and the ice. It's a bonus. Hey, wait, can I melt the ice? Hey, stop. Cut it out. And what the? What, did you just throw an ice ball at me? What was that? Uh, yeah, and if you don't cut it out, then I'm going to freeze you forever. And what? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, uh, anyways, what else do you have in this building? And whoa, wait, what is this? Ice ball wand, uh, the ice void sword, eternal ice flame. What the heck is all this? Oh, these are my trophies from uh, battling all the villager pillager people. Oh, what? That's kind of messed up. When you defeat someone, you just hang something up that you stole from them? Uh, no, didn't steal. Earned. I defeated them, and I earned all of these trophies. And wait, wait, wait. So if I steal this, then that means I earned it? I want to earn this one. No, put it back. Stop. You're destroying my room. And wait, what does this water balloon do? And whoa, wait. I can throw it. That's sick. Uh, yeah, uh, Dude, you need to stop touching stuff. Well, th I think that's the coolest part of the whole thing. And yeah, that water balloon was sick, but whoa, what the heck are these guys over here? These guys, uh, they look pretty cramped. This is my army, and I take them out to pillage uh, the unwanted uh, uh, cities and towns. And wait, can I melt them? Uh, dude, you need to cut it out, or I'm activating all the cannons. And oh, wait, you want to have a battle? Well, that's no problem, because I've got a TNT cannon now. Wait, guys, 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 stop. We're all friends, right? Yeah, we will be if he cuts it out. It stops melting my people. And all right, fine, fine, fine. I won't melt your people, but uh, let's see. What else do you have? Ooh, wait, is this an archery tower? No, this is my living quarters. Ooh, wait, your living quarters? <gasps> Whoa, this area looks sick, but it looks kind of small. I'm not going to lie. Well, yeah, I don't need much room because I don't spend much time in here. I literally just sleep in here. I'm going to jump on your bed. Uh, stop! You're getting it dirty! And all right, well, what do you have up here on the next floor? And <gasps> is this the archery tower? Whoa, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, you can look over all the land. Wow, this is pretty cool. Do you think I can hit that fire tower from here and whoa what did you just pick up a block um yeah that's my power remember and oh yeah right because you're like the earth elemental but whoa wait what's all that stuff over there oh you'll see i we could head over there right now uh but first i gotta show you my throne check it out it's pretty cool and oh uh, i guess that's pretty cool yo you have a horse i'm taking this no it's mine get off of it uh, too late it's already mine and this guy's heading over to my kingdom now let's go and 
Oh, uh, he fell into the void. I'm sorry about that. You know what? I've got a water missile right here, and it's going straight for your town. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, dude, dude. No need for a water missile. Hey, yeah, that's going to put all my fire out. All right, get that out of here. We don't need that. Yeah, Cam, what's the next part of the tour? Uh, fine, but you cut it out, or this is heading straight for that tower. All right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. What do you have uh, elsewhere? Let's see. Yeah, what's next? Well, we're heading to the training room where all of our guards go and become super, super strong. Wait, can I try training too? And ooh, yeah, same here, same here. This looks sick. Yeah, and oh my gosh, she's someone destroyed my armor stands. And oh, that's kind of weird. I guess someone must have broken into here. It wasn't me. It was you. It was not me. I think it was Dash. Yeah, with your stupid fire. It was not me. All right, all right. But anyways, uh, what do we do? Do we need to take armor out of these chests or something? There, there's nothing inside of these. Uh, yeah, because all my guards already have all the items. Uh, just pick up an armor set. And ooh, all right, all right. I'm going to grab uh, this one over here. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Um, why do all of your armors have beards on them? Uh, because they're water gods. And Whoa, check it out. I have a beard now, guys. Look, I look like Santa Claus. I am not putting on the beard. All right, if you guys are ready, in three, two, one, here they come. Uh, wait, nothing. Oh, what the? The muted zombies. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Wait, hold on. This armor is actually really OP, though. I'm not taking, like, any damage. Wait, how am I supposed to fight them? With your fists. Ruby, come on. Use your earth powers. Can't you pick up blocks? Um, I can, but okay, only one at a time. Ow. And here, I'm just going to keep using my fire powers on them. Take this and, whoa, okay, this armor is actually so OP. I'm not even taking a single heart of damage. Ah. Come on, they're all on you, Dash. You gotta get rid of them. And, oh, don't even worry about this. This should be no problem for me and my fire powers. And oh, let's go. I think I just got one. Now I just gotta take out all of the other ones. And, wow, wait, they're literally all on me. Wait, Ruby, can you help? And oh, oh, you fell out of the world. Oh. How? How did you manage? And all right, come on. Take this, you stupid zombies. And, oh, wait, I think I got them down. Let's go. Wait, I'm getting them low. Let's go. You see this? Um, yeah, I'm doing that too. Come on, come on. I just gotta keep hitting all of them with my fire staff. Take this. Oh my gosh. Wait, they're actually all going down. Let's go. This is easy. But check it out. They're getting right back up. And, oh my gosh. How many lives do these things have? And wait, I just knocked another one down. Come on. I just gotta keep knocking all of these guys down. Take this. And here we go. Come on, come on. There's only a few left. And let's go. I think we got most of them out. Now I just gotta help you, Ruby, with these ones. Come on. Help me. I'm trying. I'm trying. I think we got them all knocked out except for this one. Let me just knock him down. There we go. And now we just gotta wait for him to get back up and then smack him again once he gets up. Here we go. Wait, is he gonna get up? Or oh yeah, he's definitely getting up. All right, let's just knock him back down. Come Come on, take this. Let's go. How many lives did these things have? Oh, like seven or something. And, oh, let's go. I think that was their last one. That was too easy. <sighs> I never want to do that again. Oh, wow. I didn't think you guys could actually do it, but I guess the armor helped a bunch. And yep, that was no problem. I probably could have done it without the armor as well. Let me just take it off and oh yeah, check out my huge muscles. But anyways, was that your entire kingdom? Uh, yep, that was my entire tour. And whoa, okay, that was pretty cool. But guys, I'm not going to lie. My fire city is much better than uh, the both of these uh, kingdoms kingdoms combined. So, uh, everyone, uh, you guys might want to come over and check out my side. Let me just set my game mode back into creative. Okay, I'm here. Let's go. And all right, everyone, follow me. Right over here is the first area inside of my city. This is the hotel. So, uh, pretty much what you could do is, like, you know, find yourself a hotel room to sleep in uh, while you're staying. So, all you have to do is just climb up the lava elevator, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, is there any way other way to get out? Yeah, like, friendly for a water elemental? And, no, guys, there's no other way to get up. Just toughen up and, and get up the lava. What's the problem? Um, I think I'll just destroy this part of the floor and get up this way. What? That, you just vandalized the property. Well, it was your fault for not making it accessible. Okay, what? Well, accessible? Whatever. Okay, well, uh, here are the rooms. Uh, I guess you guys can each have one of these rooms. Right inside of each room, we've got a bed, we've got a window, and we also have a lava shower. Of course, it's pretty sick. I know. A lava shower? How am I supposed to clean myself with that? Oh, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just, like, step inside and uh, yeah, you know, just, just clean yourself up and then step outside and then turn it off. Yeah. I'm gonna burn to death. No, it's fine. And, you know, aren't you the Earth Elemental? Earth has uh, the volcanoes on it, and volcanoes have lava in them, so so you're good. Um, I don't know, maybe. Well, I'm not going in there by any chance, but uh, is there any different rooms? And uh, nope, those are all the rooms we have. But uh, I, we also have a few other houses down at the end of my city, so maybe you guys can live in those if you guys don't like the hotels. Sure, let's take a look. And all right, well, anyways, the next part of my city is our restaurant, La Flame. It is uh, the very fancy. We've got our worker Frank right over here, and he can serve you up any dish you want uh, from our menu. That is, of course. Do you have anything like, uh, you have any mint? You have any, uh, anything cool? And what? No, no, no. We don't have anything cool here. Can you not see? This is a fire themed restaurant. Yeah, I'm not good with spicy things. And no, no, guys, don't worry. It's not spicy at all. You know what? Here, everyone, let me grab you a searing taco really quick. And here, everyone, take a seat at this table. Let me give everyone a searing taco. This will be a, a gift from me to you. So, uh, everyone, just take one of those and yeah, try it out. They're really good. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 what is happening? <laughs> 
Wait, wait, did you guys eat it? What do you guys think? Was it good? How was it? I can't feel anything. Uh, no, wait, hold on. How much did you eat too many? You have to eat it one bite at a time, guys. You can't just swallow the whole thing. And, uh, what in the world is going God, Kim, chill. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I think I ate too much. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I, I guess you guys can't handle the, the searing tacos, but uh, here, take some milk. I, I think maybe that might, might cool it off a little bit. Uh, just uh, Everyone, take a little bit of milk. Uh, there, there you go. Ruby, uh, have that. And, oh, uh, Kim's falling into the void. <laughs> Gosh, that hurt. I am never going to La Flame again. And uh, uh, just make sure to leave a good review, all right? But anyways, the next part of my city is the park. So right over here, we've got our slide. It's pretty epic and uh, very extremely. We got fire on the railings over here. And also, it is a very steep slide. So you got to be super careful when going down. And in the bottom, we have a little lava pit to guard your fall. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? You almost made me jump into lava? And yeah, yeah. We have lava to break your fall because, you know, it's going to be like a very steep uh, slide. In. Are you trying to freeze? the lava yeah, i can't go in lava i'm gonna go this way ah, ow, 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 ow. Uh, but, but, okay well, well you guys are just uh weak to the heat i guess but anyways over here we've got the roller coaster so let me grab some mine carts for everyone and everyone hop in a mine cart who wants to go first oh cam you want to go first all right let me hit the button and here ruby you you can go right after him uh, just hop in and let me hit the button and this is the roller coaster it's pretty sick Whee! Okay, there's no lava or fire yet. And, yeah, but there's a drop. What do you think? Ah! Here we go. And, oh, wait, Cam, you might want to move. Ruby's about to drop on you. Watch out, watch out. Ow, oh, my head. Oh, sorry. And yeah, but that was a roller coaster. What do you guys think? I really like the slime bit. That sucked. I got hit on the head. It hurt. Yeah, yeah, just walk it off. You'll be fine. But well, anyways, over here is the shopping mall. I hope you guys brought some diamonds because over here we can buy everything you ever would need. So over here we have the first store. This is the grocery store. Can I buy an ice pack for my head? And, uh, no, th there's no ice pack here for your head. Or, actually, wait, there there is an ice pack in the last store, but you gotta wait till we get there. Ooh. Yummy spaghetti. I think his head kind of hurts from the minecart. And yeah, that's what it looks like. But uh, anyways, we've got a bunch of food over here in the grocery store. So what do you guys think? Nice. Okay. It looks pretty nice, but oh, what is this? And oh, wait, I'm glad you asked. This is a cosmic meatball. It is very nice. And oh, wait, I didn't put down the pricing. Uh, I, I guess we have to ask this guy over here. And uh, hey, yo, dude, uh, the guy working at the store, how much do the cosmic meatballs cost? And uh... I, I, I don't think he's saying anything. That means they're free. Yoink. And oh, you're just gonna take them. Okay, well, anyways, the next store over here is pretty sick. This is the clothing store. We've got every single type of clothing you could ever imagine. Look, we've got all the leather armor over here, and we've also got every other type of clothing ever. Wait, this is such a big selection. Uh, you guys can't find me. What? Dude, are you hiding with the water armor? What in the world? No, it's me. What? Dude, I can literally see you. And, uh, did you put the cosmic meatballs down over here? Dude, you gotta stop literally. Oh, there's Cam guy. Wow. All right, well, let's go to the next store. I don't want to buy anything here. And yeah, all right, trust me, guys. The next store is also pretty sick. Over here, we've got the toy store. Uh, we've got a bunch of plushies, uh, pigs and uh, creepers and my head. Wow, your head looks cute as a plushie. And yeah, yeah, I know. It's awesome. Wait, hold on. Uh, guys at, who works at this store, I, I think his name was uh, Smelvin. Yeah, yeah. How much does my head cost? Does it say anything? That means they're free. Yoink. And, what? You're just going to steal all of them? Okay. Well, anyways, over here is the last store inside of my mall this is the elemental store and guys i made sure to include stuff for everyone here so we've got stuff for the earth elements and the water elements it's pretty sick awesome how much do these cost i'm gonna buy some of this and this and this and this and ooh, all right all right well uh, i forgot what this guy's name was but uh, let's name him kyle uh, hey kyle how much do the stuff cost hey, kyle how much do the stuff cost and, uh, what, are you imitating me what is this uh, are you imitating me uh, what is this uh, dude stop copying me dude, stop copying me oh my gosh i uh, Guys, I think that's enough with the mall. Uh, just follow me. I need to show you the next thing. Oh, well, uh, guys, I think that's enough with the mall. Just follow me. I'll show you to the next thing. Uh, don't stop copying me. All right, all right. Well, anyways, guys, this is the last part of my city. These are the houses, and we've actually got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses all over here, fully decked out with uh, the bedrooms and uh, the washrooms and everything you might need. Oh, it also has a backyard. Wait, why is there a toilet out in the open? And oh, oh, that's because I didn't really have room for like individual. Uh, Room. Bath, yes. Uh, oh, what the? Can, what are you doing? Are you driving the bath? How in the world is he doing that? I think it's because he's the water elemental. Hey, open up one of the windows. And uh, uh okay, I, I guess I'll open up this one over here. Woo! 
I didn't know water elementals could just fly bathtubs like that. I mean, all elementals can fly if they try hard enough. Yippee! Cam, get down here. And wait, actually, hold on, guys. I have one more thing I want to show you guys here. Everyone, uh, just follow me up over here. We got to go over to the top of my tower. And Cam, you can pull up with your uh, bathtub. This is going to be a really nice surprise for you. Oh, Yo, I'm here. All right, well, what's this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Right over here is my TNT cannon. And this is the final part of my build. So here, let me just put down a lever and activate it. And here we go. You better get ready for this, Cam. This for revenge for uh, you uh, making your build in front of mine and having it look bad. Oh, what? All right, that's it. We're going to war. And, oh, yeah. All right, that's how it's going to be. Huh? Here, let me just uh, break some of these repeaters over here so that my TNT actually lands on your castle. And let's go. And whoa, what the heck is coming out of your dispensers over there? Wait, Cam, I don't think your dispensers are hitting Dash's stuff. And, oh, wait, hold on. I don't think my TNT cannons are even uh, blowing up any of your castle. Oh. You guys should just have a truce. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.